Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Well, remember the cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Here's my 229, a two, what was it, 229 cauliflower? We're gonna make that orange glazed cauliflower. <laughs> I have my oranges. I'm gonna squeeze them. I'm not doing that on camera. And I have the chickpea flour. I have some ginger. I have some garlic. I have a little cornstarch. And I have some breadcrumb. I got the four season breadcrumb. Like I, I didn't even know like the old, it, you know what I mean? The flavored breadcrumb. So I figured, hey, she might have used like a panko, but this is what I had on hand. And you know, I am not going back out of the store. It's just not happening. So I figured, let me put this all together. You don't have to see me anymore, but I have to first squeeze all those oranges. And if you think I'm gonna keep you on camera while I'm squeezing an orange, orange, orange. No, I'll do that off camera. See you in a bit. All the oranges I had to squeeze. Look at these babies. It must've been eight. Oh, and my hands, I don't have one of them things. Cup and a half, cup and a half of orange juice. Fresh orange juice. Eight oranges, yeah. Oh, but they they smell delicious. Very sweet smelling, very sweet smelling. Anyway, I'm gonna cut up the cauliflower now. Don't I look flushed already like I put in a job? <laughs> oh, my God. oh, retired life, it's marvelous if you can get it. You know, I'm peeling this cauliflower, you know. Oh my, I have to take. Oh, I'm a little aggravated at the cauliflower now because I'm trying to get the hard part out, you know. Let me continue. You know, it's quite messy. It really is quite messy. And I have such a small kitchen. I really do. I have a very tiny kitchen. So now I'm going to take that chickpea flour that I had to go running around all over the place for. I'm going to, and there's a, there's a lot of broccoli, a lot of broccoli, a lot of cauliflower. What I did is like I cut it like this so that I can lay it flat on the baking sheet. It's gonna go into the oven, my friends. All right. So I'm going to take like a cup and a half of chickpea flour, Bob's Red, Red Mill, and I'm going to dip the cauliflower in it. And then I'm going to lay it on a baking sheet. I know, it, it's a process, it's a process. It better be worth it. It's like, like a, a batter, like a pancake batter. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to put a little pepper in here. Just some fresh pepper. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'll be real with all of you. This is my first time and I'm doing it on camera. Oh, Denise, I think you put a lot of pepper in there. <laughs> just now I did. And then maybe a little salt. Put a little salt because I'm assuming you need a little salt in it. You know, the chickpea flour basically is replacing the eggs. Okay, so let me mix the pepper and salt into the mixture. I am making an absolute mess. I want you to know that. An absolute mess. Alrighty then, let me just dip these, put these cauliflower in, and then I'm gonna just let them, I'll show you what I'm doing so you can see. See what I'm doing? And I'm gonna let the excess run off and then I'm putting it on a non-stick baking sheet. It just sunk. And, oh, this is gonna be fun. And then, uh, I should, I'm not some whiz bowl in the kitchen, just so that you know, I'm not. And I've got a nonstick pan, but I put parchment paper on the nonstick pan because you can't use any kind of oil. That's out. That's where all the calories are, don't you know? All right, so I'm gonna line this pan up when I'm done. I'll show you. So here they are. I'm gonna put them into a 350 degree oven. And when they're brown and soft, I guess, I'm gonna pull them out. I gotta say something to all of you. I hope this is gonna be delicious. Because I have to say, it is a little bit of work. It is a little bit of work. But anything that's good, right, takes a little bit of work. I made such a mess. I just made such a mess. Oh. When I was dipping the cauliflower, when I was dipping that, and I'm and doing this to get off the excess of the cornstarch flour, I mean the uh, chickpea flour, it's literally sp splashing onto my food, my, my, what the hell is this thing called? My air fryer. So I'm like, oh my goodness. Mess. 
mess. Please be worth it. Please be worth it. But you know what I will do? I will definitely link her video in my description box below. So you can watch a true professional make it because, you know, Denise, she's a bit of a joke in the kitchen. Because I hope it turns out good, but then I don't know. We'll all find out. I'll be back with you. Can I just tell you the calamity that just happened over here? I saw... I'm in the freezer, I'm grabbing something, and I have a bag of strawberries that are open, but I have a, t a thing on it, you know, to keep the bag of stra strawberries all over the floor, all over the floor. You know what? You can't, you can't win for losing. But anyway, the cauliflower is still baking in the oven. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, I pulled them out of the oven, so they have like a little brown hue to them. I pushed it up to the camera so you could see. This pan is extremely hot, but I got the rag underneath here. And... I'm gonna let them cool for a minute, but I'm gonna make the sauce that we're gonna dip them in and then put them back on the pan and put them back in the oven. You know, this is a whole pro. I'll be real with all of you. This will probably be the first and last time I make these, unless they are something that is so spectacular. <sighs> it's a job to do this. Let's put the sauce together. All right, here we are. Here is the freshly squeezed orange juice, a little piece of pulp in there. I'm not gonna kill myself over it. We'll put that on, a, I guess, a medium-low heat. And then I'm going to add a little bit of ginger. Already squeezed, already processed ginger, because I'm not making myself nuts. And I'm going to take a little bit of garlic, put a little bit of garlic. That's all I have is the garlic powder. And I'm going to mix that up. I got some cornstarch I'm supposed to put in here, too. I made up my slurry. So let's get all those flavors permeated in here for a minute while this is heating up. And then what I did is I have a little slurry of cornstarch and water, two teaspoons of cornstarch and some water I have in here. I don't know if I'll need the whole thing, but I'm gonna wait till this comes to like a little bit of a simmer and a boil. Alrighty, let's get our cornstarch. Let's do a little slurry of this in here. I don't know how much we'll need. It smells very nice. Just put a little at a time, because you know, if it gets too thick, then what good is it gonna do me? And then I took, this is my, um, the cauliflower. This is the cauliflower. And then we're supposed to put the cauliflower in here, I guess just to get it. I don't remember the whole recipe completely, just so that you know. <laughs> but that's why I'm gonna link her recipe. And I'm just gonna get these all moist in here. Roll it around, roll it around. Dip them in, dip them in. You know, just get them. So I could put them in some breadcrumb and I'll show you what I did because I have a funny feeling these things are gonna stick. Cause again, we're not using any oil. So, oh my goodness. Mmm, smells nice though. You know, the ginger and the orange juice, you can smell the ginger. I'm, sh I'm sure I should have gotten plain panko crumbs, but girlfriends, boyfriends, honestly, I'm gonna use what I have in my house and God willing, keep my fingers crossed that it comes out good. All right, let me stick the rest of these in here, try to get them coated. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Let me move this over. I can always get those. There we go. Oops. Boing. Okay. I'm just going to coat these up with this delicious orange juice. Ooh. Yum, yum, yum. A lot of work. It's a lot. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Okay. Let's go on to the next thing. What I did is I put a little breadcrumb on the pan here because I'm assuming this is going to stick. And now I'm going to take my bowl of breadcrumb and I'm going to put all the breadcrumb around those cauliflower. Alrighty. I'll be back. Okay. So here what they are on the pan. I put some breadcrumb on the bottom, so God willing it won't stick. And then I just 
brush them in the breadcrumb and back in the oven they're gonna go for another half an hour. And hopefully they'll get crispy and they'll be delicious because they're a lot of work to do, just so that you know. Okay, so I put those in for, I would say a half an hour, half an hour. Hopefully they'll get crispy. Um, but I'm definitely gonna leave her link in my description box below if you wanna go over and see how she made them. The name of her channel is Broccoli Mom. And she is a full whole plo whole food plant-based channel. And her meals look delicious. Her stuff looks really good. But I gave it a shot. Now I'm thinking Italian breadcrumb and orange juice and ginger may not be that great to have you used, but I'll give it a shot and see how it tastes. I know that I can use that chickpea flour if I want to get the um, orange juice and all that stuff and then just coat that in this breadcrumb because I love fried cauliflower. So if I can bake it and use the chickpea flour as like the egg mixture, I'll try that too. Anyway, we'll see how this all turns out. <laughs> I don't know. We have a guest with us. I'm the guest. In the this is my daughter, Angelina. Hello. And I just got the cauliflower out of the oven. I want to show it to you. Pan's still hot. Here you go. I sneaked a piece. It was really good. She sneaked. She sneaked and she said it was good. I heard it was a lot of drama to make though, so. A lot of drama. A lot of drama. Lots of drama. Okay. I'm show you. Oh, all right. I'm going to show you. I'm just going to take a little tiny piece because it's hot. So here you go. Let me put it in the camera. You could see it. To your health, to your very good health. I like them. They're a lot of work. Mm. Very tasty. You can taste the orange. I can taste the ginger. It's very good. It's extremely hot because the pan is still hot. I'm gonna let them cool. And then I'm gonna just put them in a dish. But I will say that I will leave her link on the bottom of my description box so you guys can go over and take a look. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up, ring the notification bell. And until the next time, my friends, be kind to one another. The heart is all that matters as I slam my chest. And I will say they are like an eight out of 10. There you go. They are an eight out of 10. But set aside some time to make these because they're not in two seconds. Anyway, take it easy to the next one. Bye-bye.